Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Siphon Filter. So, when we last left off, we managed to escape the base, get up to the tower. Incoming from Leon. Roma's patrols have discovered my location and I'm coming under heavy fire. You better disable that radar soon or I won't be able to dust off. It's a control panel. Its control panel should be somewhere at its base. I'm having uh, Mackinson's team standby in case something happens. Please... Hurry, Gabe! Yeah, I'm gonna save state as soon as... Oh, my control's turned off. There we go. I'm gonna save state as soon as this level starts. Leon, I'm on the roof. Get ready for evac. Oop. Right. This frickin' boss, man. So we've got a flak jacket there. We've got some PK ammo. And over the other side, we should have another flak jacket. There we go. And we've got another flak jacket there. Yeah, so my hands are still actually cramped from when I tried uh, testing this mission. Like I said, took me nearly an hour so I'm hoping we're going to be dealing with it a little bit quicker this time. It is... Right, PK ammo. I'm trying to remember which one's the flat jacket. Because whilst you open this ch these chests, you will die. Okay, let's go. So, well, let's just get into it. Leon, I've triggered the timer and disabled the radar. I'm ready for pickup. I read you. ETA 4. No, stop! No! Ah! Don't about Leon? You rip out all of these controls. Leon! Logan, I'm afraid she won't be giving you a ride. Romer. But don't worry. I was kind enough to send one of my choppers. Well, aren't you a kind individual, sir? So, yeah, this guy. We're gonna just shoot the crap out of this thing and hope for the best. I'm not 100% sure how we can tell how much damage we're doing to it. Eventually it does start smoking, but it's just, man, it's weird. Like, I don't think much of that actually hit it, to be honest. So all the time it's flying around like this, we can actually engage it and try and do some damage. There we go, so it's smoking. But when it disappears, that's when things get really spicy. Yeah, it's disappeared now. So what we have to do is wait until we see a blip on the old radar and we have to hide on the opposite side of the screen. Otherwise, we will die. And uh, yeah, I mean like we will instantly die. So every time he does that, he also drops dudes. Which is not very decent of him. And he can do this cycle as many times as he so desires. Which is problematic. But that's okay. Right. Now, one of the main... Yeah, we should be shooting him, but we're not. <laughs> okay. One of the main reasons I take so much damage here is auto locking onto these enemies. It's very, very difficult. You can see he's dropped two more guys. Come on. Yeah, it's not easy to kill these enemies here. And he's going to do his famous shooty trick again and kill us. Oh, man. And by the way, this isn't a quick two, three pass boss. This goes on for a while. And if any point you die, yeah. It's going to be spicy. Anyway, let's go get him. Let's go get him. Come on, Gabe. Let's do this, Gabe. Buddy old, buddy old pal. So Leon has had her body dumped. And she, I guess, is right. See how quickly we made him smoke this time. Very quickly. Happy with that. Doesn't always, right, he's, he's disappearing into the sunset. That means we need to think about hiding. Cool. Know where he's coming from. 
Now, one of the tips in the guide is to constantly lock onto him because that will always show you. As long as he's on the actual map, it will show you where he is. Uh, don't do that. That's stupid because the game will just auto target you all over the place. And the trouble with that is it will get confused and spin all over the place and it just doesn't work. It really doesn't work. Right, he's already burning somehow. Uh, this must be a record, to be honest. Let's grab the ammo. Where's he going to come from? Behind us, because of course he is. Now he's heavily damaged, he actually becomes a bit more of a penis. And in the interest of not dying, I'm going to drop a bit of a save point there. Right, we did it. We did it. My god, guys. Markinson. My god. Killed. I need that chopper evac now. In 10 minutes, this place is going to be a crater. Fight your way to the main gate. We'll pick you up there. I cannot believe how smoothly that went, to be honest. I was expecting, like, extreme frustration. I'm glad to be disappointed. So, we're going to save. Yes. Hell yes, we're going to save. Um, now, I think, and I was thinking this when I did it before as well, one of the most difficult parts of that boss is it, it's really difficult to actually hit the helicopter because although you're shooting at it, quite often you're not hitting it and then other times it will come at you and you're doing the same motion, still shooting directly at it and you're doing a horrendous amount of damage to it. Like we set it on fire really, really quickly. I don't know how. I don't know why. I think it's one of those bosses where you just have to keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And eventually you will get it. Um, like I said, we got very lucky there. <laughs> and I'm very happy to get very lucky. But anyway, the show must go on. So, Kazakhstan, base escape. Incoming from Makasin. The timers on the explosives you have you planted have been triggered. When they go off, it will leave a crater a mile wide. Our chopper will pick you up at the main gate if you get in if you get there in time. Our window for escaping ground zero is short, so you better hurry. I've sent a team to Leon's rendezvous point. They found nothing but a burning pile of debris. Roma will pay dearly soon enough. So, they didn't find her body. Okay. Well, that's good, I guess. Right, this mission. Oh man, this mission. Right. Let's grab the flak jacket. We don't really have a lot of time here to mess around. Now, one of the things that made this mission really difficult when I was testing was you start this mission with the equipment and health, obviously, that you uh, finished the last mission with. Which wasn't a lot. So I'm hoping this will be significantly easier this time round. Still not dead. Alright, I don't know what's going on with that guy. Now there is an enemy behind us, but we're just going to roll to victory. Roll to victory, lads! Remember you're rolling and you may make it out alive. Alright, okay, there should be a guy behind us, but we're just going to roll to victory. Alright, keep going. No time for tears. This bit is a little bit suckage. They're going to charge three enemies at us. Whoop. But we're just going to roll to victory. Because we don't have time for their nonsense. No, sir. Alright, two heavily armoured guys. Not going to worry about them either. Just run! Because this time limit that we're given here is pretty strict. Seriously, it's, it's, it's rough. <laughs> Keep running! Now, you probably can kill all these guys, but uh, you will be pushing your, your time limit there to the absolute limit. Gaben, run! Run, Gaben! We're just going to clear as much as we need to to escape. Uh, and we've got a flank jacket grenade get right at the end because of course we do. 
And we are three! Alright. Yes. Yes, I do want to save my game. Absolutely. Oh, oh, I want to save my game. Save complete. So let's continue. We'll patch this one into the uh, last mission as well. So Roma's stronghold. We're still in Ukraine. Incoming from Mackerson. You have to find your way down to the catacombs where Fagan is being held. Eliminate any Farcom scientists you find along the way. I want to shut down this entire operation. Our labs have prepared an antigen which fights the effects of the virus. You must stop and administer to any human test subjects you find. The agency needs these subjects alive. So do everything in your power to ensure their safety. Well, oh alrighty God. then. Siphon filter. It's yes, it's quite remarkable. A virus genetically programmable to eliminate anyone or anything. Imagine a weapon that could target specific demographics, ethnic groups, that could wipe out whole continents, except for those chosen to survive. The outbreaks we've been tracking. Tests, evidently. We've traced Fagan to this abandoned cathedral. According to Mara, this is Romer's stronghold, a place where he keeps prisoners. Undesirables. Alec Kabanoff runs the site for Romer and kept Fagan supplied with human test subjects for various forms of the virus. Now Fagan is being held prisoner himself, probably somewhere in the catacombs. Has Interpol found any trace of Mara? Since her escape, she has left a trail of dead bodies from our lab to Eastern Europe. Now she has vanished. There is also no sign of Romer. The destruction of his base has driven his entire organization underground. We have found and destroyed destroyed all Farcom labs involved in the production of the virus, but we could not find the computers they were using for the viral DNA sequencing. You have to get their location from Fagan. Your team- I don't want a replacement for Leon. You don't get one. I'll be taking you into the strike zone myself. Our labs have been able to synthesize a very small amount of vaccine. Give one shot to any test subjects you find. Radio me as soon as you find Fagan. Okay, let's do it. Alright, seems reasonable. So, this house of worship has become corrupted. One more thing. You are directed to eliminate any of Romer's medical personnel that get in the way. Copy. I'll let you know when I found my way down to the ground level. Alright, so let's cleanse this holiest of buildings, shall we? And we've got some scientists to kill. No matter. We can handle that. A little bit of execution. I like the way these guys are walking around in robes like monks. I mean, I guess that's kind of the whole point. Always want to go for headshots from now on. You have to assume that everybody is wearing body armor. Which does mean that the uh, taser is finally at the stage. Well, I mean, we've already met that stage but the taser is basically useless now because it doesn't work against people wearing body armor come on there we go jeez you're supposed to pop out of there ages ago my friend almost as if you didn't want to die well at least we know where you're going to be buried all right yeah turn around come on gabe gaben all right, this guy's being a little bit hard to murder. We don't like it when the enemies are hard to murder. All right, let's get up here. Now, this level is um, odd, I guess. Oh, God. Oof. That was rough. That was really rough. Yeah, anyway, so this level's really rough because... Or really odd, I should say. It really feels like it would be right at home in a Tomb Raider game. Ah, scientist, I see. Well, no matter. These chandeliers here, we can shoot and drop down on them. <laughs> and we're going to be doing that. Because it's funny. Or he's, you know, just going to run up to us. Hello, sir. No, don't shoot me. You can beg me for your life, sir, but it won't get you anywhere. 
You've been a very naughty boy, and you should pay for your sins. Alright. Now, uh, we have to administer, like, this is quite a long level. Um, and we have to administer this antigen to all of the people that are infected. Now, there is two patients hidden in this room straight away. I found the first group of patients. I'm going to administer the vaccine, but I don't know if they're going to make it. As soon as you have the site locked down, I'll order in medevac. Alright. Yeah, these guys look like... I don't know what they look like. Big brained mutants. But anyway, let's give them a shot of the good stuff and move on. So this slightly hidden little room here is kind of an ass Because if you miss these two, which is very easy, you have to come all the way back from the end of the level. Ooh, lovely. To search it again to find the two you've missed. Scientists aren't too bad. Like, you're, you're basically always going to bump into the scientists. But, you know, the patients, not so much. Hello. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, in here, there is actually flak jacket, I believe. Uh, right in the corner, anyway. Oop. There we go. Let's strap that bad boy on. And there's a coffin here as well. Fuck on, eh? Well, I don't think much holiness was going on in here. Uh, let's keep rocking with the old silence pistol for now. Yeah, it looks like we have some labs. Nobody questioned this place, huh? Nobody questioned. Whoop. Good night, sunshine. Now, what do we have going on in here? Now, these vials here, vials of ooze, we can shoot those. And they create gas. You, uh, <clears throat> you don't want to be breathing in that gas. Just saying. That is, that's bad gas. All right. So that is already uh, half of the patients found. So we're doing pretty good there. All these Farcom medical boxes. Reminds me of Croft Manor or something. Honestly. All right, next one. What do we got going on in here? Hello, sir. Let me send you to your god. Yep, we've got another patient through here. I say patient. Um. Save me. It's rather worse than that. Save you. Uh, I shall endeavour to save you. By giving you this absolutely safe and tested and thoroughly researched and well-developed shot. Me. So once you give them their shot, they kind of start rocking backwards and forwards like that. Kind of like loony bins. Not really sure what's going on. Uh, we've probably done the right thing. <clears throat> probably. Anyway... No time for tears in case things go wrong. Let's go up here. Ah, I see. You look at that. We've caught a load of these fellas napping. Scientists, huh? There we go. Oh, man. All three of them with one grenade. Um, I've never managed to get that before. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Yeah. Usually. Usually I can get one if I'm lucky. To get all three. Very happy. Okay. It doesn't really matter like if you don't. Because they're just going to run around like headless chickens. And you can just come in here and blast them all. Uh, if you get close to these guys. They just go down and beg for their lives. And you can mercilessly laugh whilst you put one in their ass. Now. Or their brain. To be fair. Now. Um, they all have flak jackets, as I was saying earlier. So, you know, unfortunately, our taser is completely and utterly useless. Because if you shoot someone... Hello. In the head. Like him. 
they die. <laughs> no, if you shoot somebody with a taser and they've got body armor, it just bounces off. It doesn't do anything. There we go. So, the taser is a cool weapon, but you don't really get a lot of opportunity. Because as I say, once we get kind of this far into the game, um, you have to assume that everyone is wearing body armor. Now, of course, not everybody is. But pretty much everybody is, so. You know, by the time you mess around with the taser trying to shoot someone with it, you're probably going to be dead. Oh, yes. Caught that in the skull like a champion. Good man, that man, I guess, for dying like that. Anyway, let's go, Gabe. Don't want to be late for the service now, do we? Alright, we've got the 45. Let's get this bad boy out, shall we? I don't think there's anybody over here. But of course, there are enemies through this window. Oh, shot him in the nuts. That's okay. <clears throat> I don't think monks breed anyway, to be honest. I could say something, but we're not allowed to say things like that in 20... 23. There you go. Son of a bitch. Never trust these types. Evening. Oh, God. Blew him into next week. Come on. I know you're out here, sir. Don't be shy. Really? Dude, I know you're there. I've never seen that guy not charge around that corner. And I have played this level now probably five times. Uh, yes. Five times. Easily. Oh, you are lucky. You are lucky. Dude, you're screwed. Just sit back and, and take it. Alright. You're not getting out of here alive. Nobody is. Well, apart from the good guys. Hopefully. Who is the good guy, though, you know? You have to ask yourself these questions. Alright, let's come in through here. And there is a nice little tasty, delicious bonus for us. Just over yonder. Yes. It is the K3G4, which is a monstrous weapon. Well, apparently. I mean... Seems about as good as uh, every other automatic in this game. Actually, to be fair, like my favorite automatic in this game so far up until this point is probably the G18. That weapon is insane. You can really slice heads with it. Hello, guys. What are you doing, huh? Ooh, I think we... Oh, no, we got the scientist. <laughs> No running in my hallways, sir. No running in my hallways at all. Alright. Let's cut through here. But be careful. Got a couple of do-gooders. Trying to cut us down. But I say nay this day. There you go, dude. Shot the good stuff. One dude left to administer. Medicine to. All clear. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, you are stupid bastards, aren't you? Goodbye. Enjoy that, did you? I did. And imagine Gabe chuckling to himself like a loony bin. Okay, not bad. Oop, into the library. Books, huh? There we go. Sacrilegious books. What do they say, sir? No running in this man's hallways. One must stay quiet in the library. It's not a bad shout, actually. Stay hushed up. Now, oh, hello. I forgot about you. I said be quiet. There are children reading, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, if we jump up here. 
There's a nice little box here. A box that I, for one, am quite uh, fond of. Fully loaded G18. Don't mind if we do. Definitely going to be handy later. Hello, sir. Allow me to teach you a lesson. A lesson that you won't soon forget. It's called no running, bitch. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, dear. Oh, look at this. All this noise in this library, guys. Come on. Let's see that little melon of yours. You're just making noise. Oh. Let's silence you. Won't somebody think of the choir boys? I'm sure the monks are thinking of the choir boys. <gasps> I said I wouldn't. I said I wouldn't. All right, who's next? Hello. Oh, he's got a flak jacket. Oof. 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 That was close. Let's go back down and grab that body armor, shall we? God damn. Actually, yeah, good enough. Good enough. There's plenty of body armor around, to be honest. So we don't have to worry too much. But yeah, something about the whole aesthetic of this level. Just, it's Tomb Raider. And I don't know if I'm saying that in a bad way or anything. It's just... Now this guy will see you through the window. So... One must endeavor to be careful. And then, yes, this guy... Oof. I'm kind of low on the old armor here. Could actually double back. Now, here's the problem with double backing in this level, and indeed any level in this game. There are certain trigger points where enemies spawn. Now, you're kind of supposed to see these trigger points once. But, if you cross the thresholds multiple times, the enemies will all respawn. Come on, father. Are they call monks fathers. I don't know. But he's father to no one now. <laughs> yes. Well, this unfortunate gentleman standing a little bit too close to that gas vial. <laughs> Choke for daddy. Anyway, let's go grab his gun. Uh, what was the? Oh, I think this. Oh, it was a shotgun. All right, well, we'll take the shotgun. We shall take the shotgun. Yeah, they die pretty quick with the old uh, gas. A little bit unfortunate. Yep, come on, Father Tucker. The char... Uh, no, we're not going to go there. Come on, sir. There we go. Figured yourself something of a hero, did you? Well, you're dead now. Oh, evening. Don't take the bait. We are smarter than the average scientist. Luckily, that priest never held a gun in his life. Hello, sir. Rather unfortunate bit of business, but had to be done. Flak jacket, we'll have it. Sure. Now, if we see a chandelier, we shoot it down. Because quite often, it makes people die. And that's kind of our job at the end of the day. We make people die. Now, I'm going to run up here, immediately turn around. You're not listening, Gabe. Oof, that worked. That did indeed work. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> ah, it gets better every time. Whoop. Uh, I don't think there's anybody on the other side of that one. Nope. It's always a sad day when you don't hear your common man screaming for his life. There we go. You're dead, son. Now, we can go in here, but there's not a lot in here. An enemy will spawn behind us. And an enemy, not sure if he's, uh, if I could turn around. 
There we go. As you can see, the uh, turning around mechanic doesn't always work. I'm not 100% sure why. And there's a gentleman behind us. Now, if we climb all the way to the top, there is a um, case, but we've already got maximum ammo for this weapon, and that's what's in it. So we're not going to worry about that. Anywho, give me Rama, sir. Now, this is what we want the G18 for in here. Oh, sweet mercy. Let us go to this rather cool looking room, actually. Because of the absolutely disgusting fire rate of this weapon, you can just completely decapitate everybody in the room with extreme prejudice at a ridiculous speed. Not even mad. Not even mad about it. That's all right. I'm happy. You happy? I'm happy. We're all happy. Apart from the guys that are dead. They're probably not happy. They don't matter. Because they're dead. Oh. Lock code required. Green lock code. Oh. What have we done here? Now, because we're going back up here, enemies will spawn. Um, there we go. Enemies spawning. Lock code required. How curious. We killed the scientist. We picked up his... Something's not right with that. Um, something is not... Because that scientist that we killed, which triggered the last checkpoint, drops the keycard with the lock code. So that's interesting. Um, now there's a reason that I've replayed this level like five times, and that's because something always goes wrong. <laughs> um, right. Okay. Huh. Let me, I guess, go back and check. But... That's strange. Now the thing is, running back through the level, we are going to run into enemies again. Did we miss the keycard that was on the floor? I mean, obviously, I guess we did. Unbel ah. We missed that guy as well. Kind of hides out. Maybe... Maybe we need that for the last scientist dude to actually spawn. But I don't think so. Oh, there's the key. Yeah, okay. I'm... Okay. All right. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Saved, I guess. Yeah. This level, man. <laughs> So many components to it. But that's okay. Yeah, last time, I, uh, or should I say the first time I actually got all the way to the end of this level. I tried to go, to go down the lift, and it's like, yep, can't go down the lift. It's like, 
B -b 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 why? I didn't even know that was the end of the level. Are we going to have enemy spawn? Yep. You can hear them running. The G18 says, you die. Because the G18 is the unmatched weapon in this game. Anywho, we're good. Managed to pull that back from the brink of failure. <laughs> kind of. Sort of. Just about. Because this is basically the end of this level now. Open says me. Oh, sir. You're going nowhere, sunshine. God damn, I love the G18. It's just the most ultimate weapon so far. Whoop. Now, you don't want to run, like, straight down here and miss that little gap, because you will die in a horrific manner. Okay, now through here is a sneaky little secret. M79 grenade launcher. Always useful to have one of those in your back pocket. Never know when you're going to need to sterilize the room. Not bad. All right, Gaben. Up and over. Yeah, there we go. Not bad. Cool. Oop. Right. Now, there's a guy up here. But I don't know what this guy's looking at. He's literally asleep at the wheel. Maybe he's thinking about the choir boys. Evening. This guy has his eye on the prize, though. This guy is no fool. Come on, Sunny Jim. There you are. Open his head up like a can of beans. Now, that was a long level. 27 odd minutes. Could be its own thing. Do you wish to save a game? I. And we shall pop that there. So, I'm going to leave this one here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.